Good morning, my beautiful babe. Sis uh, overslept. Normally, when I take my nighttime medicine so I can get a good night's sleep, I will oversleep. However, I am up. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for waking me up this morning. Blessings to everyone who woke up and is about to receive this message. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I have my notepad. Got my water. And I got my vitamin C. And my pen. So let's get into the daily word. Father God, I come to you as humble as I am. I ask that you give me the encouragement and the wisdom and the strength and the Holy Spirit to deliver the word in nothing but the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Yesterday we was talking about how to how you receive gossip when you're on the receiving end and someone is bringing gossip to you. Today, we are going to talk about how to stop gossip. You can stop the gossiping. How to stop gossiping. What can you do to make sure you are not the one that is putting the gossip out? I want you guys to know, don't never think that you are safe when somebody is bringing gossip to you. Because if they're willing to talk about another person, they're willing to talk about you as well. Amen? Example. Ask yourself, is this gossip kind? Is this gossip true? Is this gossip necessary? You want to study gossip in the Bible. You don't want to be around people that gossip or talk too much. People who can't keep your secrets and confidence when you're feeling like you're telling something that's really, you know, close to your heart and you share it with them and then they go spread it to someone else. When these things are happening, it stirs up conflict. It separates family members, friends, co-workers, boyfriend, girlfriend. It separates you from the individual who it has been done to or who you thought of what the person told you. It could separate you. That's why we cannot listen to everybody. You have to take your perspective on someone for yourself. And I'm sorry I'm looking this way. I got my camera, my phone flipped the wrong way again. The lens is over here. But you always want to make sure that you know someone for yourself. Don't listen to everybody and what they're saying and based uh, your perception of that person off of the information that you perceive from another, another individual. Because everyone is different. How they may feel, you may not. What they see, you may not. What they heard, you may not. Amen? Gossip is wicked. We know this. We know gossip is wicked. Even children... Probably seven and up no gossip is wicked. So why are we constantly doing these things? Amen? I'm asking God to shower and pour out on anyone's lips who speaks upon another person in a wicked way. I ask God to just rain down his Holy Spirit and touch you. Touch you. In Jesus' name we pray. Remove it. Remove all that hate. Remove all that negative energy. Remove it, Jesus. And purify them with abundantly love. Because some people are hurting inside. And they really don't realize it. And they just lash out. So you have to ask yourself, why am I doing this? 
You have to pray. You have to pray. If you get in your Bible and you pray and you just read a word every day, it don't have to be a whole page. It don't have to be a whole chapter like I'm doing. To some, it's very interesting. It's very entertaining. And you, as a child of God, you will grow more into the spiritual aspect. The more you read, the more knowledge you will grow and the more wisdom you will have. Amen? It will change you. I am changing. I am not the old crystal that I used to be for the ones that know me or knew me or know of me. Amen. Whenever for the people who don't know, whenever you sin, you need to repent immediately. We may be sinning and don't even know that we are sinning. Just get in a habit of asking your Father, your God, your Holy Spirit, in all Jesus' name we pray. Father God, I repent for everything that I have made done that I know that I not know of that I have made done. In Jesus' name, I pray, Father God, I ask that you just forgive me. Forgive me for my lips. Forgive me for my mind thinking of anything that is not of you, God. Amen. Repentance is basically... Showing that you acknowledge your wrong. We are saints. No one is perfect. I am a saint. You are a saint. Everyone is a saint. Nobody is purified until you reach the gates of heaven. And if you reach the gates of hell, you know ain't no perfection down there. None whatsoever. You want to get in a habit of repentance. Get in a habit of acknowledging your wrong. Get in a habit of realizing that, hey, what I said, I didn't mean no harm. Maybe it came out the wrong way. Ask God to allow you to use your words wisely. So pause. And then think about how you're going to respond. Pause. And then think about how you're going to react. Pause. And then think about how you even going to think. Because some of y'all minds out here just all over the place. And your mouth just, wherever you can, and whoever going to listen, you just get on your knees and repent. Sit in a chair, lay down in a bed. I don't care where you at. Repent, repent, repent your sins. Amen. Okay, guys, this is going to conclude this word for today. My children are up, coming, getting in my way. I done got popped in the face by a hit band. So, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so you'll know when I upload another video. Remember to always repent every day because we are saints and we sin every day. We sin when we're not even thinking. Have no acknowledge that we even sin. Just being a saint, you are a sinner. So with that being said, I will see you guys tomorrow, same time, same place. Have a good day. Bye-bye.